Now let's put the motor into the assembled gearbox. On the motor you'll see there's a couple of little um, cutouts. There's actually a small piece here on the back of the gearbox that registers into one of those cutouts to make sure that the motor doesn't slip. The end of the motor has this depression here that goes over the head of the bolt. So I just rotate that round so it sits in nicely. Now I'm going to take my top cover piece here. This has a direction, there's a flange on this end, there's an arrow on the top. It's going to go over the top like this. And then a couple of 3mm screws. go into place. These hold the motor in place. They should be done up fairly tight. Don't over tighten them so you strip out the plastic because they are just going straight into the plastic. In my case that's PLA. If you over tighten them they'll tear out. But it should be tight enough to hold the motor firmly in place so it's not going to move. Okay, just finger tight like that and that's the motor placed into the gearbox.